Greetings to all. We are seeing a, a series of several projects implemented in Python, uh, especially with both user interface as well as backend. In this particular series, we are going to see a security app for uh, uh, showing a demo on how to do encryption and decryption. The entire user interface is built in Tikenter, and uh, the backend is nothing but a normal program to implement Wigner A cipher. Yes. So not going into the depth of Wigner A cipher, let us see what is encryption and decryption first. Encryption is nothing but if you give any plain text message, say hi, how are you? And if you are going to transfer that message to a, a person who is actually recurring that message without any damages or without any leakages, then that message need to be preserved. So what I'll do, you will be converting that message into a cipher text so that it cannot be understood by a third party person. Then the reliable receiver or the receiver who is actually going to receive this particular message can use a particular key to decrypt that cipher back to the plain text so that he can read that particular message. So secure transfer can be ensured and both on the sender and receiver can also ensure that that message is secured. Well, apart from those two people, others cannot read the message if and only then a key is not released, right? So let us execute this particular app, how it is working. I'll be giving the name of me and that Raja Subramanian just for uh, something to record what are the uh, usages done in this particular app. Then I'll be giving the message which I need to convert into a, a cipher text. So I say, hi, I am teaching Python. Hi, I'm teaching Python. This is my message. Next, I'll be giving some key. The key should be a number and beginner cipher. So I give some key, say 23. And here we have two modes, say encrypt mode or decrypt mode. So I need to encrypt this plain text message. So I give E for encrypt. Now I click the show message option. And in the result, I give the cipher text. Very easy. The uh, huge Wigner-A cipher is actually made into a very single button click option. A good app for encryption and decryption. Great. Now we need to verify whether this cipher text is correct or not. So what I'll do, I'll copy this cipher text and put it into this plain text message. So I delete this, I put the cipher text over here. The entire cipher text over here is actually put into this message. Now with the same key, let me decrypt and see whether my plain text is recovered or not. So let me see. Yes, I get it. I have, hi, I am teaching Python. Great, I have a good encryption and decryption demo app. So this demo can be used for any person who is learning security. Uh, for an initial purpose so that he can understand encryption and decryption clearly and it also motivate him to develop such python application for other security algorithms say dash rsa diffie hellman and many or uh, many other key generation algorithms or encryption decryption algorithms so that his python app knowledge also will increase and the security knowledge will also increase let us go into the programming phase of this particular app it is very simple and you have to map this program exactly with the Tkinter app. So if you see the Tkinter app, you have the initially secret messaging with Vignari cipher. Then you have an encryption decryption demo and you are having the dynamic date uh, being displayed and you have the title of the app say message encryption and decryption. So have this in mind and see the program here that i create a root uh, application that is this is the root and this is actually having control over this x icon so if i close this entire application will close and that control in the program is nothing but the root if i close the root everything will close and the geometry i can also fix the static size of the app i fix it to be 1200 into 1600 and uh, the config i want the color to be set the background color is young so if you see the entire background color is going to be cyan and the title of the app message encryption and decryption everything goes on top of root because everything is going to be displayed in root only next i give a uh, frames frames is nothing but small small uh, uh, windows that appears on this that is actually the frames so the frames will be displayed in orange right so initially I have this as a frame and this frame is displayed in orange. Next, and that orange should go on top. 
and I have frames and I have another thing to be displayed on the left and that is this particular portion and the result will be displayed on the right portion. So those things I have actually fixed just by fixing the right left things. If you see the labels, my first label is going to be secret messaging with Vignare cipher in foreground will be black and background will be yellow. So that is on top. See, I have secret messages with Vignare cipher. Next, I have the orange and steel blue uh, representation of another label and that label will display my local time, right? So local time will be displayed and the value for this local time will be obtained from the time package, which I have the code in the bottom. Next, I have the grids. This grids is going to the, have uh, uh, portions for encryption and decryption and another text is say an encryption decryption demo app is displayed right next coming to the uh, portion where i need to do exit reset options these are actually default functions for any app you use so whatever the uh, applications you have what are the tags you have here you have name message key mode result and if you want to click reset button this reset button if it is clicked everything should be uh, changed into a empty string so i just if you know everything is actually having some values if I click reset, see everything is actually filled with empty strings. So that's what the reset is actually mentioned for. I made everything as an empty string. So it is actually similar for any application you click, you, uh, you develop, you can actually want to create a reset function, then this is a default a version, you can directly use it. And when you click exit also, you want the root to be destroyed. So root is actually this X button, this X, uh, if you click this, the entire thing will be destroyed. So I want the same functionality to be given to this button also. So if I click this, the entire app should close. So if I click, the app will close, right? Similarly, coming down, we will be seeing the labels one by one. My first label say F1, that is in the frame one, it should be displayed, that is in the left-hand side. In left-hand side, I'm having uh, uh, the two labels being represented, where one label is there, that is nothing but the name. I have the name label. And for that name, I need an entry box also. So this is label and this is entry box. Similarly, I can represent another label, another entry box. Another label, another entry box. Another label, another entry box. Everything was in frame F1. See, everything will be in frame F1. Yes, everything will be in frame F1. So up to message, I got everything then i need the next thing to be in the result so i'll be having the key everything be noted and mode also and now i'll be going with the result result also i'll be posting everything is stored in the frame and now i'll be coming with the encode and decode functions these are very simple functions once you understand vignare cipher it is easy for you to pop up with this particular functions where I do some operations with every character that is being entered in the plain text message. I apply the key with some percentile options and the length of the key and I make those operations clear, right? So this session is not intended to teach Vignare cipher. But so if you want to make any other operations you want, you can actually do that. But these functions is, a, uh, is actually being kept here for you to understand how various uh, different uh, scenarios or algorithms can be put inside it when you see these uh, series of projects you should have some prayer knowledge on both tkinter as well as python function modules so i strongly recommend you to see those videos before coming to the project videos right then we have the reference section where the message they if it is e you call the encode function if it is uh, actually uh, and not e if it is some other uh, variable you can actually call decode right then by using the show message you can actually make the message to be obtained right so this is actually the program for the vignare cipher to be implemented as a tkinter application right very simple instead of showing your output in a console screen if you show it in an app like this it will be great and deliverable so it means that you have understood Vignare Cipher as well as Python better so that you have your own app also ready that we others can install as a package and then run, right? Yes. Hope you have got a more insight on both Tkinter projects as well as Vignare Cipher implementation, right? 
So in the next video, we'll be seeing some other projects also. Thank you.